Welcome again to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion. We will continue our topic for the electromagnetic wave. According to increasing frequency, the electromagnetic spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation lies beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum. Ultraviolet waves have shorter wavelengths than the visible light and carry more energy. Ultraviolet is the longest wavelength radiation whose photons are energetic enough to ionize atoms, separating electrons from them, and thus causing chemical reactions. Short wavelength of UV and the shorter wavelength radiation above it are called ionizing radiation and exposure to them can damage living tissue, making them a health hazard. UV can also cause many substances to glow with visible light. This is called fluorescence. The sun is our main source of ultraviolet radiation, but there are also artificial sources of UV light. Ultraviolet radiations in UV lamps are used by banks to check the signature in a passbook. The signature is marked on the passbook with fluorescent ink. It becomes visible when viewed under an ultraviolet lamp. These lamps are also used to identify fake banknotes. Ultraviolet radiation is also used in sterilizing water from drinking fountains. Some washing powder also contains fluorescent chemicals which glow in sunlight. This makes your shirt look whiter than white in daylight. Ultraviolet radiation in sunlight produces vitamin D in the skin and gives us tanning effect. But since UV rays have high energy, it could be harmful to some extent. It could burn the skin and hurt our eyes. Overexposure to UV radiation may cause skin cancer. Sunburn, for example is caused by the disruptive effects of middle-range UV radiation on skin cells, which is the main cause of skin cancer. Sun tan or sunscreen lotions serve as filters to protect the body from ultraviolet radiation. X-rays. X-rays come just after the ultraviolet rays. They are of shorter wavelength but carries high energy than the UV. X-rays are produced using an X-ray tube. They are emitted when fast-moving electrons hit a metal target. Hard X-rays have shorter wavelengths than soft X-rays and as they can pass through many substances with little absorption, they can be used to see through objects with thicknesses less than that equivalent to a few meters of water. One notable use is diagnostic x-ray imaging in medicine, a process known as radiography. Long wavelength x-rays can penetrate the flesh but not the bones. They are used in x-ray photography to help doctors look inside the body. They are useful in diagnosing bone fractures and tumors. Short wavelength x-ray can penetrate even through metals. They are used in industry to inspect welded joints for faults. All x-rays are dangerous because they can damage healthy living cells of the body. This is the reason why frequent exposure to x-rays should be avoided. Too much exposure to x-rays can damage body tissues and can cause cancer. Lastly is gamma rays. 
after hard X-rays come gamma rays. These are the most energetic photons having no defined lower limit to their wavelength. Gamma rays lie at the other end of the electromagnetic spectrum. They are shortest in wavelength and highest in frequency. With regards to wavelength, gamma rays can be likened to the size of atomic nuclei. They carry the highest amount of energy, thus they are more dangerous. Gamma rays are emitted by stars and some radioactive substances. They can only be blocked with lead and thick concrete. They are used for sterilization of drinking water. They are used for irradiation of foods and seeds for sterilization. In medicine, they are occasionally used in radiation cancer therapy. More commonly, gamma rays are used for diagnostic imaging in nuclear medicine. Gamma rays are very strong that they can kill living cells. Gamma rays are used to treat cancer through the process called radiotherapy. After learning about the wavelengths and frequencies of the different types of electromagnetic waves, you are able now to compare the relative wavelengths of different forms of electromagnetic waves and explain the relationship between frequency and the energy carried by an electromagnetic wave. Always remember that all electromagnetic waves can travel through a medium and they can also travel in a vacuum and as wavelength decreases the frequency of the wave increases hope that you learned something from my discussion thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel science time discussion thank you and god bless everyone